In a number of days, I will be turning 24. And although it's both terrifying and exciting, I can't help but notice that each and every year brings new lessons of insight. There is no one like you. Each person has been individually crafted to be different. There is no second copy of your DNA. You are an original piece and you are wonderful. We each hold similarities that complement each other, but when it comes down to it, no one is ever replaceable. Your story matters. What you care about matters. You matter. Be kind. Kindness goes a long way and it costs very little. Remain aware of what is happening around you in the world. Each morning when you wake up, ask yourself, what can I do today that is kind? Build a pattern of picking up moments in your day where you can lend a helping hand. Moments where you can give time to someone else's need. Keep in touch with your inner journey. Ask yourself often if where you are standing is aligned with your passions, purpose, identity. If you see injustice, stand up for the little guy. Just because someone's voice is the loudest, it doesn't make them the wisest. If you do nothing, say nothing. It continues. Influence. Who you choose to walk alongside in life is often going to influence the outcome of your direction, decisions and outlook on life. Surround yourself with positive, inspiring, empowering people. People that want to see you do well. Do more today, but also try and find the right balance of work and rest. In everything that you do, make sure that you are for it. Let your yes mean yes and your no's mean no. If you are 100% aligned with your projects and how you spend your time, your work becomes more effective. Your time doesn't feel wasted. Be okay with change. This one's a hard one because change isn't always on your terms. Sometimes life gets in the way and dreams get put on hold. Your attitude throughout the trial will either build you or destroy you. Being open and accepting and understanding and choosing to be aware of your emotional growth and maturity will aid you to become more steadfast even in the midst of change. Money is only an object and wealth is only a category to some. If you don't understand something, learn about it. Nothing terrifies me more than ignorance. Not only ignorance, but the attitude that the world has nothing left to teach you. In everything, you have a choice. You can choose to react or you can choose to respond to things. Be mindful of how your decisions are made. If you need help, there is no shame in asking for it. Travel. Experience the world and its cultures. Embrace a childlike wonder to explore. I've met people who have saved for a lifetime, and I've met people who are living out of a suitcase with only a few dollars left in their bank account, but both people have come back inspired, centered, and in love with the world around them. Learn to live without impulse. Don't give up what you want most for what you want right now. Set goals that grow you. Goals that bring outcomes that are beyond materialistic measures. Learn to wait for things, to grow in patience, and stay focused on the end goal. Respect yourself. How you carry yourself as an individual is so important. Your body language, the way you talk, what you have to say, is all being absorbed and released in the energy you share with the world around you. Don't be afraid to try new things. Try art, business, skydiving. Whatever your heart seeks interest in, go after it. There is nothing wrong with growing in new skills. Everyone hosts intelligence differently. Once I learnt that we didn't all have to be similar minded, my concept of worth changed. Healthy mind, healthy heart, healthy body. Are you happy? Are you aware of your emotional process? Are you empowering living a life that is whole and nurturing? 
Learn to listen. Often enough, we get distracted with what we are going to say next that we often forget to hear the heart of the person standing in front of us. Take a step back and focus on what is happening right in front of you. Forget the power of multitasking and simply simplify that moment. And just sit with that person. Hear what they are communicating and focus on the way they are communicating it. Breathe. Stay quiet. And then respond. Go out and have fun. Start the day with your favourite little cafe. Explore a new location. Walk around the town. Enjoy both the stillness and the chaos of it. Start a conversation with someone. Meet someone new. Catch up with an old friend. Get connected with the community around you. Find your family element. Everybody needs somebody to remind them that they are special. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. The greatest thing we can rob ourselves of is experience because of a fear of not getting it right. Be kind to yourself in the process of learning. Everything that we do comes at a cost. Keep connected and giving back. Spread good energy and pay it forward. If you see someone in need, don't walk by without sharing some form of kindness. Try not to judge, but instead host a heart that is invested in raising others up. And finally, celebrate the small things. Be present, be aware. Encourage, empower, uplift. Be present.